Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. Walking by, you're leaving, right? We was going over the. We asked you, right? What does Jesus Christ look like? I got a question for you, my brother Eve. Which one of these is Christ, according to the Bible? My brother, right here. What's your name? What's your name, my brother? Dre. Trey. Oh, Trey. All right. Which one of these is Jesus Christ, according to the Bible? Not what the church says. But according to the Bible, I want you to look at it. That's Jesus Christ? According to the Bible? Okay, that's what you said, Eve. What you said. Okay, he's not on it. What about this picture right here? You said he's not on this one. What about that one? Take a good look. Take a good look. Get that cue up for me. You said what now? Ah, you said that one looks more accurate right as a description my brother right here you just came up we were asking which one of these pictures cut you go to church you go to church you, you used to right which one of these is jesus christ according to the bible because the bible is in the church and the pastor is supposed to teach you what christ looked like that one according to the bible right so eve we got two brothers right here said that one looks like christ but you said that one is Christ. There's an issue, right? There's an issue. Because we all, the churches read the same Bible. Right? Watch this. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Yes. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. See that? The Bible says God gave the revelation to show unto his servants. He had to give it because he knew Christ's image would be hidden. It would be changed in history. There will come a group of people that will change the image of Christ. What's your name, my sister? What's your name? What's your name? Rhonda? What's your name? Monica? Damani. Okay. All right. So we're going over the image of Christ, right? Read this from the top again. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Things which must surely come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. So God signed off on this message that we are about to read of the description of Jesus Christ. Because the world says he looks like this man right here. Right? Like this image right here. Yes. Give me that. Verse 2. Who bear record. Of the word of God. So when you're bearing record of the word of God, this the prophet John, he was writing down the image of Jesus Christ, right? Writing it down for us because we would forget. We would go into slavery and forget the image of our God. Read this. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. My brother right here, where are you going? Where are you going? Of all things that he saw, right? So we are, what we are about to read is what John saw, what Christ looked like. Now 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hold that picture right up right there. Hold this picture up. Come on, hold the picture up right there. Hold that picture up. We're going to do a process of elimination right now. Y'all familiar with that, right? So the Bible says that he had hair, what? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So the Bible says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So who has woolly hair on the face of the planet? Anybody, who has woolly hair? 
black people, right? And it says it was woolly in texture and white in color. Because what is synonymous with wool? Sheep, right? Sheep comes in different colors, right? They got black sheep, they got brown, and some of them got white. So John is giving you an accurate description of what he's seeing the Messiah look like. You understand? Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He didn't, he wasn't smoking weed, so don't get that twisted. He wasn't smoking weed, right? He was, he, Christ drank wine. That was the prophecy, right? When we as a people drink wine, the whites of our eyes turn red. All right? So read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So the Bible says Christ's feet was like unto fine brass, yes. as if you burnt it in a furnace. I got a question for you. What color is brass? My sister right here, I want to make sure you're paying attention. Because, listen, the, the younger people is the next generation, yes. right? And it's very important for you to understand your history right. and who your God is. Because when you look at this image right here and you think this is your God, guess what? Everything you do leads to servitude to him. Right. When you go to school, you're not thinking about building up your community. Right. You're thinking about going and building up. Because when we get rich, right? when we get money, where do, do we like to live among our own people? Or we said, nah, let's go and live where the Caucasian people live. Right. Right? Right. That's why this image has domino effects you understand so it's very important for you to understand Jeez. who your god is and what he looks like yes, right. as if they burned in a furnace as if they burn in a furnace if you take anything and put it in a furnace which is fire it's hot it's a thousand degrees everything burning in there where you put it in what color does it turn black, black. Yes, right. black. so guess what jesus christ according to the Bible, is a black man. Yes, That's right. what the Bible is saying. He's not this man right here. Right. They came and pushed this image upon you in slavery. Right. They killed your foreparents right. because they did not accept this image. Right. And guess what? Those who wanted to save their life and say, you know what? I don't want to die. I'm going to accept this image and serve this image as my God. That's what happened. Right. And guess what? That image got pushed down generation after generation. And guess who pushes this image right now within our communities? Bring it out. What is on the side, ma'am, right here. What is on the side of every street corner that we live in? On every street corner, what building is on, on the uh, corners in our communities? Is it a, a Dollar General? Is it a bank? Is it a church? Which one is it? A church. So they're using the pastors to push this image right here into your minds. That's right. Yes. Read. Where you at? Read uh, Christ again. Yeah. And his feet like unto fine brass. How y'all doing right here in the corner right here? Come around. Come around. Come around. So I want to see my family because we all family right here. I want to see my family. I want to dialogue with my family. All right. What's your name? Darren. All right. Your name. Gloria, Zed, Zay, and your name? Aliyah. Aliyah, and my family over there, right? I see they're looking at the picture right here. So we were going over the image of Christ, right? And Christ, according to the Bible, is a black man. You understand that? And he came from the tribe of Judah. Right. Give me that. Hebrews 714. They say they're African American. African American. Alright, so. Did you look at this sign right here? I want all of y'all to look at it. Come come around so y'all can see the sign right here. I want y'all to look at this sign right here. You said you're African American, right? I got a question for you. Why did you say you're African? Who told you you're African American? Did you just wake up and that was in your mind? Oh, I know who I am. I'm an African American. How did you know you were African American? Was that pushed upon your grandparents and that passed down? So where did they get it from? Where did grandparents got it from? Slavery. It was Negro, colored, right? Black, right? African-American, right? Because guess what? Afro-American, right? It changes. How can us as a people, we all came 
on the slave ships, right? Correct? We all came on the slave ships, right? The slave ships stopped at different locations. We all was on the slave ships. Right. How is it that all of us got different nationalities? Right. You're supposed to be my brother. I'm supposed to be related to you, right? right? Whatever you say is supposed to be related to me, and whatever I say is supposed to be related to you, right? right. Same thing goes with everyone here. But guess what? They divided us. Right. They divided us in slavery, right. right? Now you call yourself African American. Someone call themselves Haitian. Someone call themselves Christian and right. Baptist. So we're divided. So where did you you see yourself on the side right here? You said African American, but what does the Bible call you? That's the question we need to be asking ourselves. Right. Not no. what the white man calls us. Right. What does God call us? Because right. God created every nation on the face of the planet, didn't He? Right. So God gave them names, right? right? Adam named the animals, didn't he? Right. He named the animals, so we got names too. Right. right. So, this is which name did God give you? You said African American. Hi. You be from the tribe of Judah. Hi. Right. You right. understand? Right. 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 Who else? Who else? Let's go down the line. Where you see yourself, sis? African American, West Indian, Judah. Judah. All right. I like you said African American. You said nah, nah, nah. African American. I'm Judah. I like that. What you see yourself, my brother? Where you see yourself on the sign? Huh? Levi. Levi. Where you see yourself, my sister? I'm combined. Judah. It's, uh, it's according to your father. Right? So whatever your father was, that's who you are. Puerto Rican. So you would be from the tribe of Ephraim. Right? What's you, my brother? Puerto Rican. Ephraim. Ephraim, right? What's you? Judah. Yes, you. Judah. Judah, right? So we got all Israelites on. What's you? Judah, all you are Israelites. Yes, all of you are Jews according to the Bible. Right. Guess what? In Puerto Rico, right? You may think that you're separate from the black Americans. Correct? You may think you're different. Right? But guess what? When you look at this sign, there's 12 nations right here. Right. 12 tribes. Right. We're all one nation. Yes. We all descend from Jacob. That's right. our forefather. Right? right? And there's a requirement for this greatness that God assigned us. Right. We've been walking uh, in uh, disarray. We've been walking not according to our purpose. Right. We think our purpose is being in Christianity. Right. We think our purpose is being a lawyer. Right. We think our purpose is getting the bag. Right. We think our purpose is everything except what God said for us to be. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. Hold that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show you what God told all of you to be. Read this. We got that Deuteronomy 7 and 6 because we go around with low self-esteem out here. We being called niggas, blacks, no goods, gang members, thots, hoes, everything but except what God called us. Right. We go about in society thinking that. But God said you are the greatest people on the face of the planet. That's right. He told you to be greater than everybody else. But we're not walking like that. We've been walking according to what our slave masters told us we are. Wait, come on. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Yeah. For thou art in holy people. All of you thou. The thou when God said is all of you standing before here. Thou art in holy people. A holy people you're separate from everybody else on the face of the planet. Right. You're not the same. You wonder why all nations hate you? You wonder why we dress the best, right. why we sing the best, why we dance the best, why we play basketball the best, right. why we run the fastest, because God chose us to be the greatest on the planet. What is the nation? Right. 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 Nation is men leading by example. Oh, you know what?